Hola, hola, friends. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. Um, so let's get to talking about today's gospel. Um, in today's gospel, it took me a little while to understand what it was trying to say because I was like, I don't understand it because there's some words that are confusing, right? Um, but then, you know, like I started doing some research and then I, I understood it a little better. And I think it's super awesome and important. Um, to read this week's gospel. Um, so in the gospel, it was saying that Jesus and his disciples um, went to this town. And from afar, this woman was saying, Lord, help me. My child um, is being ruled over by a demon. Right? So Jesus was like, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I was only uh, sent here to help the lost uh, children of the house of Israel. Now, he said this because the woman, the woman was actually um, a Canaanite, which was a different, um, a different culture. They were not the same, right? So, and even his, his disciples were like, you don't need to help her. She's not one of us, right? She's, she's not a, an Israelite. She's not part of the chosen um, and so Jesus t tells her, you know, um, we don't give food. Why are we going to give good food and take it from the children, a.k.a. the Israelites, and give it to the dogs? In other words, the people that are not. Um, so, you know, it's a little upsetting because, wow, like... We think about what we talk about in church and we include everyone and so that was just like a little like oh my gosh you know but then um the woman said yes lord but even the dogs feed off of the master's leftovers right so you know when she said that jesus was like you're right why, why should I just be helping the chosen ones, right? When she is such, she has such faith in me that she ran from wherever she was and she was like, I trust you. I am, I am asking you because I believe in you, correct? So he said, you're right. So he said, go, you woman of faith, your child is healed. So to me, I was like, that's awesome, right? That is so, so awesome. Because it goes to show that, you know, Jesus was like accepting of her. He, she was like, but look, I mean, yes, you're right. You were sent here to do something, but I am also a believer in you. I am a believer in God. I believe in what you do. So, can you please help me? When Jesus saw this, I feel like he was like, ah, oh, you're right. Right? So I think it just goes to be an example for us, right, as Christians, as Episcopals, that we don't necessarily have to be, like, protecting or, you know, helping just our people, right? Everyone is included in that. Everyone you know, deserves help. Everyone deserves love. Everyone deserves to hear about Jesus. So I really encourage you guys to go to the gospel and read it and talk about what it means to you and your family at this moment in time. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. Um, I know for me, this past two weeks have been so crazy with school starting so i am praying that all of you are doing well and just i miss you guys i miss getting together with you and i will see you soon adios